Now we're going to jump right into creating images or actually pulling images from the Docker Hub and then spinning them up into containers. So this is kind of a hands-on part of the course and then we're going to go into conceptually how all of that works. So let's go ahead and create a container for a hello world. So what I'm going to do is command docker. This is actually telling Linux which program we're running and then I'm going to do run. Run is going to spin up a container from an image and then the image I want is hello world. So that's the one that is going to load into the container. So I'll run this and if I look at the current containers, you can see nothing here. I can do Docker PSA and I've got these hello worlds running. Because these were downloaded previously, I didn't see anything downloading, but these probably happen pretty quick as well. But you can see I've got two instances. I'm doing a Docker PS to display the current containers. And if I do a Docker PS A, that's going to display the running containers. Now, if I want to remove these, I can do a Docker RM. And if I do hello world, I need, it says I need to do the ID. So I am going to do Docker remove and grab an ID. So I'll grab this ID, paste it, hit enter. Now if I do a Docker PSA, you can see I only have one running. So here what I'm going to do is remove it as well. And paste that there. Now if I do a Docker PSA, there's nothing running. So you can see here with this PSA or dash A command, there's a few things we can do. So let's do something a little more interesting and pull down a bigger image. And this image is going to come from the Docker hub. So I'm going to go out onto Safari and we're going to look at that particular image. All right. So if I go to Google and I just do Docker hub, here we are. So what we have here are a bunch of images that people have created and you can get for free. So we're going to see how to do that. And what I want is one called Wellsy. Like this. Let's see. It's actually Wellsay. And you can see people have created a number of these. We want the one by Docker, which is this one here. So if I go back into our terminal, I can go ahead and execute that one. So I'm going to clear this screen just by typing clear. And then I'm going to do docker run. So right now we're getting ready to spin up a container from an image. The image is called wellsy or wellsay actually. We're going to execute calsay and then we're going to give it something to say which is going to be hi all. So that's a parameter. The hi all is a parameter. Now I'm going to run this and you can see what happens. Now this ran pretty quick because I've got the container locally. So I'm going to remove it and then we're going to see what's going to happen when I don't have it locally and it's got to go out and get it. So if I do a Docker PS, I'm not getting any containers here, but we have this one for Wellsy. So if I do a Docker RMI and do Docker well say so you can see here it's being used i'm going to copy the id for this image and use this id probably what i'll need to do is unload the container because you can see we're still getting this problem of not being able to delete images being used so stop container so for that what i'll do is an rm and then i'll grab that container which i think is this one and that will stop the container. Now if I go back to the RMI and try to move the Im remove the image, there it goes. All right, so now I'm going to clear. Go back and get this Wellsy right here, no, actually right there. Now I'm going to run it as if I don't have it on my machine, and we're going to see the process Docker goes through to get it. So you can see here, it's not finding it locally. That's where it will look initially. Pulling latest from Docker Wellsy, which is actually in the Docker Hub. Now it's getting all the bits it needs for the actual image. 
the image will download and it will go ahead and spin up that container, execute our parameter high all, and we'll see the output. Here it is. So same thing we saw earlier. And if I go back and look at this RMI, so remove image for hello world, there it is. So that's deleted, and it deleted right off the bat because nothing was running, no hello world container was running, so we could delete that image. Now if I do a Docker run, so we know here I'm getting ready to run a container. Is the container available locally? So if I do hello world, this is what I want to run. So it's going to look for the image. If it's local, if it's not local, it's going to go out and find it. Then it's going to execute that container. So let's run it. You can see, not able to find it. We've deleted all the local copies. And there it goes. So it downloaded it. This is a new one, so I got the latest. It's another advantage of running these containers. It'll get the latest one and spin it up if you don't have the latest one. And again, this is not one, we're not modifying anything in that container. We're just taking the one that Docker created and running it. So if Docker modifies it, then we'll just get the latest when we run it the next time. And this is a very quick download, as you can see. And now we're running that container. So let's go back to Wellsy and do something else. So we've got a new Rocky movie that's out. We can do something like a Yo Adrian to that. And you can see the output. So that is the parameter here, right there. This is the image. This is a program that's being executed in it. And then here's the out, the parameter we're passing in to get some particular output. So let's look at our images. So here's all the images we have. So I've got this Nginx and then I've got Hello World and Docker. So those are the images, but what is running? So if we do a Docker PSA, these are the containers that are running. We've got two because um, we passed in different parameters for the Calse, then we've got the hello world. So those are all running, here's their IDs. And you can see when they ran last, created. And so that's how you run a Docker container. And again, if it's not local, it's just gonna go out and get it on the hub, assuming it's there, unless you're just creating one from scratch.